Hello, 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 hello. It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. How y'all doing? Ho, yo, ho, yo, ho, yo, ho. <laughs> I was singing that song early. I don't know why I've got hype because I'm going to order PF Chains tonight. I haven't had PF Chains in a minute. So they got some like theme music that when you call the store, it plays. <laughs> So that was my imitation of the theme music. I swear, I'd be having fun by myself. If somebody had a camera here, they would say, that girl crazy as hell. But I was like, ho ya, ho ya, ho ya, ho. That's my P.F. Chang's music. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what P.F. Chang's is, it's a Chinese, Japanese restaurant. Oh, boy. So I don't know. Fool, get me so happy. Fool, get me so happy. But you got to watch food, man. Because I'm telling you, them egg rolls will go right to your waist. Next thing you know, you got to roll on your back. Then you got to run and get some lipo. <laughs> I'm on one of these Sagittarius. How y'all doing though? How y'all doing? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. And this is your general love reading for January 11th of 2022. It's a general reading. So bits and pieces may resonate, may not resonate with everybody. Sagittarius, y'all got a lot of views my last uh, reading. Thank y'all. 11K. I was like, oh shit. Okay, Sagi, you went up in the world. I'm going to have to do give y'all a bonus read. But Virgo did the best out of everybody. So shout out to the Virgos. Check out the description box below. It's a lot of information as far as how to book a personal reading. All of my social media information. How to become a member of this channel if you're interested. And there's also an extended reading link for you to purchase if you're interested. Where I will continue the reading over on Vimeo. So check out the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please. And click that little bell button below that will notify you every time I go live or post a new Sagittarian reading. Okay. I'm going to try to do a bonus for y'all because y'all did come in second place with the most views. So I'm going to definitely try to do that for y'all. But I got something special coming up for my Virgos. So let's see what's going on with my Saggies. I know the last read was intense. There was somebody that was pretty obsessed with y'all. So let's see what's going on with y'all. Y'all be leaving me comments too. Y'all don't play. I got mad comments like, uh, where's the Sagittarius reader? I'm like, damn. Damn. Y'all got me on lock. Damn, where the Sagittarius read? Y'all don't care. Y'all be going to other people's reads. Like, oh, the what the hell is this? The devil in reverse. Really? Really? Capricorn energy. We gonna start with that. Y'all gonna be caring. Y'all going to other people's reads. Like, hello, where's the Sagittarius reading? I said, damn. I'm happy y'all my rising sign. <laughs> Woo! Ten of Wands. Okay. What the fuck going on here? Let's see what's going on with my Sagittarians in love. Ho yo ho yo ho yo ho. The Sun card. Leo energy up in this bitch. Ooh. Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh boy. This this person again. Nine of Pentacles just flipped out. A lot of y'all doing good with y'all money, y'all career. A lot of y'all are single right now. Oh my God. Oof. Death card in reverse. Scorpio energy. You got a lot of major iconic cards already, boo. Already, boo. <laughs> y'all like, why is this bitch so happy today? Ace of Pentacles. Scream is coming out on Thursday. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm about to buy tickets for Friday too and Saturday. Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Overall energy is the Ace of Swords. All right. You got two Aces here. Aces represent new beginnings. All right. Potential. There's somebody here, Saggy. Possibly a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's somebody here interested in you. Um, I see that. But I also see the Eight of Wands in reverse. So that's either like a slow moving energy or because the Knight of Pentacles is usually a slow moving energy. Very, very slow, very steady. But somebody who is usually faithful and loyal. One of the most trusted, if not the most trusted Knight in Tarot. Okay. Ace of Pentacles represents a stable offer. Somebody trying to offer you something pretty stable. Okay. 
Um, the sun card is an excellent card. That's about happiness. That's about illumination. That's about joy. You do have the death card in reverse and the devil in reverse. Hmm. Ten of wands here. That's about being feeling burdened by a situation or stressed out by a situation. Um, let's go ahead and clarify here. Let me see what's under this ace of swords. The king of wands in reverse. The seven of swords in reverse. Oh boy. And the six of cups. You know, I was just about to say, this is giving me the energy of somebody who, that somebody that you, from your past, that's trying to apologize to you, that wants to talk to you. But I think you're kind of pissed off. King of wands in reverse. I feel like that's you. Either you're pissed off with this person or you don't want to talk to them. I was going to say that and then I saw the six of cups. This is somebody for some of you that you blocked. Okay. It seems like there's somebody here that was pretty toxic. The devil. You cut the chains. You cut the, you know what I mean? You're, you're no longer bound by this person or feeling entrapped by this any longer. Okay. You're free. Nine of pentacles. But I feel like there's somebody, their energy here is like they're still stuck on you, whoever this is. And I see them coming your way. Um, I feel like for some of you, they've tried to communicate with you, but some of you have this person blocked, so they have no way to communicate with you, even if they wanted to. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify. All right, y'all. Y'all cool with that? Y'all cool with that? Okay. Let's see. Don't forget personal readings. You hit that email, misshawaiireadings at gmail.com. All right. Personal readings. I finally caught up on them. So if you want one, now is the time. All right. Um... And um, like I said, there, there will be an extended reading. The link is below for this read where I will do a full spread on your person if you're interested. See how they feel about you and what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. I'll also pull you some advice cards, oracle cards, as far as how you should proceed in love. Advice from your angels. All right, Saggies. So let's see here what we got. Why is the devil card here in reverse for my Sagittarians? Why is the devil card in reverse here for my Sagittarians? Oh, God. What just popped out? The five of swords. Oh, God. Ugh. With the nine of swords here. Yeah, this is somebody that caused you a lot of stress. Whoever this is. This is somebody that caused you a lot of stress. A lot of anxiety, worrying, possibly sleepless nights. It, mm -mm. This is somebody mm -mm, that I feel like, and this is that same devil energy that came out in your last read. You know what I mean? I feel like you trying your best here or you are doing it, not trying, keeping your distance from this person. But they still coattailing on your energy. Show me the ten of wands here. The seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you feel like this is somebody that was wasting your time or was a waste of time to um, actually put in effort towards this person. See, wheel of fortune in reverse. Some of you, this person did nothing but stress you out, caused burden, caused you to feel burden with the ten of wands. Some of y'all are even stressed out at the thought of this person's name. Like you're like, why is this person even here? Show me the sun card. Because I saw a lot of y'all comments from the last read. A lot of y'all like, yo. Three of cups in reverse with the judgment in reverse. Yeah, a lot of y'all, you don't want no, no second chance with this person. You are keeping your distance. But within with the sun card, you, you can see clearly. Like this person, they may have been trying to hide shit from you in the past. But I feel like with the sun card, everything is out there about this person. You have been illuminated about by them about them and i feel like with the sun card you make them very happy you know what i mean or you made them very happy but three of cups in reverse y'all are keeping your distance show me the knight of pentacles this is a clear cut reading here the magician in reverse you don't trust this person this person could be trying now to come at you like oh i'm a good person i'm loyal i'm faithful maybe they have changed Okay, but I feel like with the magician in reverse, that's manipulation. You don't trust them. Four swords. You had to do a lot of healing from this person. You don't trust them with the magician in reverse. This person could be very manipulative, very cunning. All right. Let's see the nine of pentacles. 
This is somebody that's trying to talk to you. Ace of Swords, overall energy. Show me the Nine of Pentacles. Some of y'all need to make sure you're getting sleep because that Nine of Swords card tried to pop out again. Six of Pentacles in reverse with the High Priestess in reverse. You keeping your distance. You're not wanting to give to this because when you were given to this, they weren't meeting you halfway. So now why should you give to this? Show me the death card in reverse. Very cutthroat. I mean, very cut and dry reading for y'all. The Knight of Cups in reverse with the Two of Swords. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is not, this is an unrequited love, whoever this is. Sagittarius, this is an unrequited love. Knight of Cups in reverse with the death card in reverse. This is somebody that can't accept the fact that it's over between you and them. And they don't want it to be over between you and them. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Now they're trying to come back and offer you something more tangible in what they're saying. The Hangman in reverse. Yeah, with the Four of Wands in reverse. But you know what's crazy? I feel like this person's offer, mm -mm. I feel like they're going to try to come back and they're going to get right back into their manipulative energy or suck you right into this toxic energy here. Okay? Show me the Eight of Wands in reverse. It's a good thing you have this person blocked or you're just not responding to their messages. The king of swords in reverse. Yeah, that's you. You being cutthroat with them. And they trying to figure out how. How can I get Sagittarius to open back up to me? How can I get Sagittarius to open communication back up? Ace of swords. How can I get Sagittarius to talk to me? Strength in reverse. Yeah. Mm -mm. Could be a Leo for some of you. You got a lot of Leo energy here. You got Scorpio. You got Capricorn. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you ain't fucking with this person, Sagittarius. You're not. Matter of fact, you being stone cold with them. Some of y'all have come cut off all communication. Some of you have actually blocked this person. Or you're just not responding. Okay? Um... I feel like this person tried to get you caught up in some toxic shit, some unhealthy shit with the devil in reverse and you freed yourself from it. You're looking good here. You're independent. You're strong. Nine of Pentacles is a powerful energy. This person knows that and they want to get back in your good graces. That's what I'm getting. I see you keeping your distance. Three of Cups in reverse. You're happy being distant from this person. <laughs> You know what I mean? It was this person was a burden in your life. This relationship, this connection was a burden. This was stressful for you because you were investing in somebody that wasn't worth it, wasn't worth your time, that was wasting your energy, wasting your time. So you had to reevaluate your life. Yeah. Let's look from another deck. I know y'all like, yo, this person done come out again. Yeah, they're here. They're here. They're like, if I could just have one conversation with Sagittarius, if I could just show them and have them look me in my eyes and tell them how I feel. This person, something else. You hear me? Show me the devil in reverse, please. Why did, I, why did I even do that? I don't even know why I did that. I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to look from another deck as to how this person feels about you. And instead, the card, the, I clarify the devil in reverse and I'm seeing the page of swords in reverse. So I know this person spying on you. That was meant for me to do that. I don't know why I did it with the hangman here. They're thinking about a lot of different things. I have no idea why I just did that. I have no idea. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. But it was for a reason because it's showing you this person is spying on you. 
Oh my God, that was crazy. Let me see here. How does this person feel? Or rather, how does Sagittarius feel about this person? How does Sagittarius feel about this person? The Empress. Some of y'all, this is your child's father or child's mother. Four of Wands in reverse. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you fucking, you done turned your energy on to you. Look, you and your Empress energy. Empress with the Nine of Pentacles, male or female, you know your worth. You know your worth. And you know what? You actually did care about this person at one point. Cared about them a lot. They see you as the Empress. But with the four wands in reverse, you got the two, same two aces. Same two aces in reverse. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all blocked this person or you have nothing to say to them. You don't feel like what they were offering you was anything tangible, was anything worth it in the long run. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse is like an offer that's shabby, an offer that's not worth anything in the long run. And the Four of Wands in reverse is like, there's no stability. It, it, there was no strong foundation. Show me the Empress. The Temperance in reverse, that's your major arcana card. This person stressed you out. The thought of this person stresses you out, frustrates you, disturbs your peace. Show me the Four of Wands in reverse. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you stay into yourself. You guard, you, you stay into yourself. Some of y'all know this person is holding on to you. Holding on, holding on. Show me the Ace of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse with the Nine of Swords. Do you see how much stress this person caused you? That's why some of y'all had to block them out of your life. Nine of Wands in reverse is like, you. that's the Wounded Warrior card. You went through a lot with this person and you ain't trying to go through no more shit. Show me the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Magician again in reverse. With the Fool in reverse. You ain't even trying to take no risk to jump in with nothing with this person. No, because with the magician and getting reversed, you don't trust this person. This person showed you manipulation. They played games with you. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. Mm -mm. This is not somebody you want. You're over it. Some of y'all felt like a damn fool for even dealing with this person to begin with. You feel like this person's too reckless, too careless, too immature. Mm. Wow, Sag. Powerful reading. Powerful reading. And you know what's crazy for a lot of y'all? You would have done anything for this person at one point. You know what I mean? You were in it. You were in it to win it. And this person messed up. Let's get a, a gypsy oracle card for this person. Love. Oof. You and this person were in love at one point for some of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Hawaii, what? Yeah. Foe. Ooh. Enemy energy. Some of y'all see this person as an enemy. A foe. Somebody you can't trust, baby. Hope is here. Oh, <laughs> this person fucking holding on to God's unchanging hands. You got letter here on the bottom of the deck. I feel like some of y'all, this person is trying to communicate with you. For some of y'all, maybe they're actually going to send y'all actual old fashioned letter. Write down, dear Sagittarius, I miss you. But some of y'all, they're going to go old school and write you a letter. But others of you, it could just mean communication, email, text message. Mm. Hope. They still got hope for you in them. But look at this full card. 
Look at that enemy card. Show me the full card, please. This person has ill intentions. That's why you pulled the magician in reverse for them twice. Falseness. Mm, they fake. They fake. That's why they're your enemy. They being fake with you. You love me, but you cheated on me. You love me, but you hit me. You love me, but you abuse me. That's not love. I don't care how mad you get. I don't care how mad you get. You ain't going to cheat on me. You ain't going to hit me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. All right, Sag. Let's go into the extended now. We're going to look at this person's cards, do a full spread on them, see how they feel about you, what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. And then I'll go ahead and pull you some advice cards as far as how you should proceed in love, how you should proceed with dealing with this person. And we'll see what your angels and ancestors have to say as far as overall advice for you. All right. I love you, Saggies. Have a great week. Don't forget, Scream comes out on Thursday. Go get your tickets so we can talk about it. I love y'all. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Take care. Love you and blessings.